I just say? I am getting a little sick of Rochester's winter. The weather is just always crappy, always cloudy, and I have to pull out my lights every single time that I film. And I'm glad that I have my lights, but I really do love shooting with natural window lighting. Anyways, hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Wait, I need to move that. Hold on. In today's video, we are going to be diving deep into my YouTube ads revenue analytics. I'm going to be talking about how long it took me to make $10,000 from just my YouTube ads revenue, as well as I want to break it down month by month to show the progression of my revenue from YouTube ads. So in case you're just now getting monetized and you're curious how much money you possibly could be making, or maybe you're just wondering how much money I'm making at this point from my YouTube ads revenue, I'm going to be breaking that all down within this video. So the first thing we need to talk about is exactly how long it took for me to hit that $10,000 mark. To give you the full picture, I got started with YouTube in October of 2017, and it took me a long, long time to grow and hit the guidelines that I needed to hit in order to be monetized by YouTube. So it wasn't until July 18th, 2019, so over a year and a half later that I was actually monetized on YouTube, and it took from July 18th, 2019 until January 8th, 2020 to hit that $10,000 mark. So I did a little bit of calculation, and it's actually 175 days or five months and 22 days to make $10,000 for my ads revenue revenue on YouTube. But if I'm being honest with you guys, it actually took me much less time to make $10,000 from YouTube. If you take a look at my other income streams, and I've shared that before in a video talking about how much money I made from YouTube in just November. So if you guys want to check that out, I will include that right here. But if you take a look at my paid products and my affiliate marketing, I've made well over $10,000 from YouTube. But in this video, we're really just going to be talking about my YouTube ads revenue. Now I've actually had this video idea on my content calendar for a long time, and I've been watching my YouTube analytics waiting for it to hit that $10,000 mark so that I could film this video for you guys. And the main reason why I want to share this information is because before I got monetized on YouTube, I really didn't know what to expect in terms of the revenue that I could see from my ads. And you guys have already watched those videos of people sharing their first YouTube paycheck. So I told you guys that I would announce when I received my first YouTube paycheck, which really only goes over the first, possibly the first and second month, whatever it took for them to hit the $100 payment threshold that you need to hit in order to actually get paid out by Google AdSense. But what about the months following? Are you only making a couple hundred dollars? Can you actually make a thousand dollars a month, even just a few months after being monetized on YouTube? Like what does your revenue really look like? And you guys already know that YouTubers can make decent money from sponsorships, like working with brands, affiliate marketing, as well as ads revenue. So I really just want to share my ads revenue and what happened within the first six months of being monetized on YouTube. The very first thing I want to take a look at is my first three months of being monetized on YouTube. So from July 18th until October 18th, what did my revenue look like? And you can see here on this graph, this is broken out just daily how much money I made for my ads revenue. And at the beginning, I was only making a couple of dollars a day. My revenue was pretty low, but also my views were pretty low at that time. So if I break this out, let me actually switch right over to views. You can see I was getting around 500 views a day and I was making two to five dollars a day. So I was making about a dollar per hundred views. And for the first three months, my revenue was pretty consistent. I mean, there was a spike here where I made $11 a day and then this this is when my YouTube channel started to grow and I saw $23 a day and that was so freaking amazing for me. But if we actually break this out weekly, I was only making around here, I was making $50 a week for my YouTube channel. And I thought that that was really good, especially because every month at that rate, I was going to hit the minimum payment threshold to get paid out every month. But if we actually take a look at the month by month breakdown, how much I was making, starting down here with July, I made $44.55, but again, I only only got monetized on the 18th. So that was just the end of the month. The next month I made $169. We go up to $200, $900, almost $1,000. And from that, there was a really, really big jump. And I made $3,000 in November. I made over $4,000 in December. And so far, this is only pulling up a week's worth of data, actually eight days worth of data. And I've already made $1,300 in January. So in just four months, I went from making $200 a month to over $4,000 a month in my ads revenue. And the main thing that caused this to happen is because there was a big growth within my YouTube channel. You guys have already seen that and I've shared a lot of videos on that. So if you guys wanna learn more, I will include them in the description bar down below. But I saw a big spike in my subscribers as well as my views. And because I was getting more views, I was getting more watch time. A lot more people were watching my ads and I ended up making a lot more money from my ads revenue. So if you guys are curious, let's take a look at this section right here, which shows you what videos actually generated the most money for me. So my very first one is how long it took me to become my monetized on YouTube, that's made me over $2,000. My first YouTube paycheck video, that's made me over $1,000. Understanding the YouTube algorithm, over $1,000 again. And then we see a big dip here going from over
over a thousand dollars to only four hundred dollars from these videos and if i click on see more we can compare to the views to the money made so for this first video i have over three hundred thousand views that ended up getting me over two thousand dollars then we're at one hundred eighty five thousand and one hundred twenty eight thousand that generated me both over a thousand dollars for these videos but the big dip we see here is because i am going from one hundred twenty eight thousand views down to forty nine thousand views so obviously there's a big dip in how many views the video got as well as how much money it made so this had 49,000 views it made me $400 and then this video only has 27,000 views and it made me $400 now I do want to film another video in the future talking about why this happened and actually comparing and contrasting some of my videos why some make more money compared to others and really what's the difference and how you can make more money with your ads revenue so if you guys want to see a video like that let me know in the comment section down below and I'll definitely create that for you guys but the one thing we haven't talked about yet is how many views actually led to this $10,000 as well as what my CPM looks like. Now, I do have to say everyone's CPM is different. Your CPM could be dramatically different compared to mine based off of the location of your viewers, the topic of your YouTube channel, and other factors that are taken into consideration. But CPM stands for cost per thousand views. So on average, how much money am I making per thousand views as well as how many views actually led to this $10,000? Do we like that? I've never filmed at this angle. Oh, trying new things. Right up here, you can see that I've made $10,182 82 cents. My estimated monetized playbacks are about 1.2 million and my average CPM is about $15. Now I do have to say this estimated monetized playbacks. When I look here, I know that this day I didn't have zero views. I know that I didn't have zero estimated monetized playbacks. So this is a little glitchy, but on average it was about 1.2 million views generated me $10,000. Now I'm not going to lie. If I was a beginner YouTuber looking to make YouTube my full-time job and I found out that I needed over a million views, views to generate $10,000 worth of revenue, I would be a little concerned, especially because my CPM is actually pretty high. Like people in the lifestyle niche are making significantly less for their CPM. And really it does depend on your topic of your videos as well as the location of your audience. So it could be dramatically different for you and you could actually need way more than a million views to generate that $10,000. But I do want to share some tips and some things that I take into consideration in terms of monetizing my videos to make sure that I make as much money as possible. The very first thing I've mentioned several times in the past, but all the videos that I share to my channel are over 10 minutes long. And there's two reasons why I do this. The first reason is because of the YouTube algorithm. They are more likely to recommend videos that are longer within search as well as the suggested section. So if you guys can lengthen your videos a little bit because YouTube likes it. But the second reason is because if you have a video that's over 10 minutes long, you can include ads within the center of your videos. Otherwise, if you upload a video that's like nine minutes and 30 seconds, you can only have an ad at the beginning and the end of your video. Video. So you're really missing an opportunity to make money by placing mid roll ads in your videos. Now, here's one thing that I noticed when I first became monetized on YouTube, I took a look at other YouTube channels and I tried to see where they were placing ads, how many ads they were placing in their videos. And it all depends on your niche. It all depends on the topic of the video where people are placing ads. So I was taking a look at like vloggers and some of them place a lot of ads within their videos. Like if they have a 10 minute long video, they're going to include three ads within the center of their video. And I tried to to do that when I was getting started, I would include two or three ads in the center of my videos, but I started to get a decent amount of comments saying that the ads were too heavy and that people were leaving my videos because of the ads. And obviously I want to increase my audience retention rate. So I didn't want people to leave because of the ads. So now what I do, if I have a 10 minute long video, that's like 10 minutes and three seconds, I will have an ad at the beginning. I will have one ad in the middle and I will have one ad at the end. So that leaves me an opportunity to have three ads and have one person watch all three ads. The uh, second thing is the type of ads that you allow within your YouTube videos. Now you can't specifically say, oh, I only want car ads to appear on my videos. You have no say in the matter. YouTube has an algorithm that figures it out on its own, what ad is going to appear for each individual person. But what you can do, you can decide what type of ad, meaning do you want those skippable ones, non-skippable ones, or the ones that appear on the bottom here? What ones do you want to appear on your channel? And I honestly recommend if you're getting started, have all of them selected. If you're curious what ad types are generating me the most money and you want to know what ads to actually place within your your videos right down here you can see that the uh, skippable video ads that actually generates 89% of my revenue from ads and over here as well in case you guys are curious when people have YouTube premium meaning they are paying for the version of YouTube where they don't have to watch ads that ended up generating me only $200 out of this $10,000 that we're looking at 
And the last tip that I have for you guys is to create advertiser friendly content. You wanna have that green little dollar sign beside all of your YouTube videos. If it turns yellow, it means that it's not fit for all advertisers. And if it's red, you're not gonna end up making money on that YouTube video. So you definitely wanna make sure that you are abiding by all of YouTube's policies that you're creating advertiser friendly content because that can hurt the amount of money that you make on YouTube. But that is it for this YouTube video. I'm really hoping you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and I'll see you guys back here in three days. Bye guys. I think I could do better. What's today's date? Come on, we are. Bus. Fo. What? Redo. Did I say July or January? $10,000. I should know this. I'm not really sure. I'm like so close to this. So close. The fact that I don't even know when I started my YouTube channel. Ah. Uh... No, see, that's not like motivational. I want to be like inspiring, kept talk you up, as well as offer tips. Okay, so what do I want to say?